We're about to tell you the details of what happened to these people. And these are horrific details. If you don't want to hear what happened in this story, turn away now because this is about a spasm of violence which has horrified even the most hardened homicide detectives who have already seen the worst of humanity. I mean, a baby inside the home, man. The baby being hurt. I heard the guy say, don't hit the baby, don't hit me. That's what he was doing. What did he do with the baby? Stop it, get up, get up, ma'am. What did he do with the baby? <laughs> she hurt her daughter. He's schizophrenic. He hit um, the daughter-in-law. Said, "Don't hit the baby. Don't hit her." But he has beaten his mom. She's laying in front of my home, bleeding. Is that he stabbed the mother of his child in both eyes, with, and uh, this will result in the victim uh, being blind in both eyes. Received a laceration to her trachea, laceration on her liver, multiple lacerations on her face. She um, is currently being treated for these life-threatening injuries. The other victim in this case was an infant who uh, Detective O'Malley advised me is approximately one, years old, one year old. It is believed that the defendant threw this victim through a window. The injuries that the infant suffered is a traumatic brain injury and a potential possible brain bleed. The other victim is currently being intubated and unresponsive. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and tonight I'm going to be giving you guys the details of this very gruesome tragedy that happened in Florida. And you guys know if Florida is in the title, crazy is to be expected. Now, this situation happened with a Florida man who I guess they said was having an schizophrenic or a schizophrenic episode to where he beat his mom with a two by four. His mom was trying to get away from him. She was slipping over her own blood. He then told his mom to stay where she was or whatever. And he was accusing his mom of not being his mom. He told her to stay where right, like stay put, stay where she was to where I guess she escaped and went to a neighbor's house. He then went and started to attack his fiance or his girlfriend his baby mama and he slit her throat he plunged knives in both of her eyes then he went on over to the baby to where he bit the baby's nose off threw the baby through a glass window where the baby like shattered through the window landed on um her face where the baby was face down suffered a lot of brain injury brain damage they do not expect the baby to survive this incident the baby mama of him is said to be blind because of this going forward and you know it's just very sad like she had lacerations to her face lacerations to her neck so he was cutting her face cutting her neck stabbed out her eyes it's just a gruesome, gruesome, gruesome scene to just even fathom or think about. I mean, a baby inside the home, man. The, 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 the baby being hurt. I heard the guy say, don't hit the baby, don't hit me. That's what he was doing. What, I got up. What did he do with the baby? Don't want to stop it. Get up, get up, ma'am. What did he do with the baby? <laughs> she hurt her daughter. He's schizophrenic. He hit um, the daughter-in-law said, don't hit the baby, don't hit her. But he has beaten his mom. She's laying in front of my home, bleeding. Infant suffered from what appears to be a skull fracture, as well as it appears that the nose was bitten off the infant. This is a very, very um, gruesome scene that the deputies encountered. The one-year-old is not likely to survive based on what deputies describe and what the judge said in court. When I talked to the detective on scene, he said that this is one of the most gruesome scenes he's been in, and he's been a, a violent crimes detective prior to being in the special victims unit. And this is more gruesome than any violent crime scene he's been on. To hear the details of this is just very gut-wrenching. Like, listening to the, or reading through, like, report after report, and it's saying that, you know, his mom was sound asleep when this happened. And there was reports saying that, you know, she had broken arms and everything like that from this situation. Um, it didn't say that she was to the point where she was unresponsive, but she did suffer broken limbs. She was sleeping in her sleep to where he came, woke her up and beaten her with a two by four and then went to the baby mom, tried to, well, not tried, sliced her throat, sliced her face, sliced out her eyes, 
did whatever he did to the baby, bit the baby's like, can you imagine somebody just totally like biting a nose off of a baby, like completely biting the nose off of the child and just plunging the child through the window? Like just listening to those details, it just makes my skin crawl. This man was able to receive a $550,000 bond. So if he was to have the money, which I doubt he has the money to post the bond, if he was to have such money for this, he would be able to get out and be willy nilly until trial or whatever. And to me, that's scary. I've seen a lot of different comments, um, a couple comments of, of people saying that they knew these people. I'll read that to you guys in a second. But I've seen a bunch of white idiots. And I'm just going to call it for what it is. This ain't going for everybody who's white. This is just going for the idiots that I've seen that happen to be white um, who were under the comments talking about, oh, where's BLM now? Oh, are you going to march for BLM? First of all, that make that absolutely irritates and makes my blood boil when people bring BLM into matters that have nothing to do with BLM. BLM marches for those who do not get justice, those Officers and those uniformed criminals who go and commit crimes and they do not face punishment for their crimes. This man is behind bars. He will get punishment for his actions. He will hopefully, you know, um, justice hopefully will be served in this situation, schizophrenic or not. Because, again, they were saying, you know, he's schizophrenic, whatever. Schizophrenic or not. Hopefully he will be locked up somewhere, be it jail or mental institution for the rest of his life. And justice for those people will somewhat be served in that sense. But in matters of BLM, these these matters that they march for, they march for cops who go home and get paid for killing people. They go home and they get paid and rest their feet up and don't serve crime for their criminal behavior while they're behind a uniform. It just really makes my blood boil when people bring up BLM when it has nothing to do with nothing. You cannot bring up BLM for somebody who's going to get punished for their crime. The purpose of BLM is bringing awareness to people who will not get, receive um, punishment and hopefully they try to get said person to receive punishment. But anyways, like I said, there was a couple people who claimed to know these people under the comments. So I'm going to read those um, messages or those comments. Uh, they're alleged because I can't verify or validate, you know, these people actually knowing them for real, for real. But this is what they said. Okay, so the first comment I came across was from a guy by the name of Corey Johnson. He claims to have known this guy and says that, okay, I personally know him and hang with him like that. Behind closed doors, we don't know what happened, and I never seen bruh act out like that. So somebody was like, was they trying to kick him out or anything? And then he responds, bruh make money and was working for Waste Pro. My G, bruh was supportive and a ride or die man. But family oriented, I know all of them, but it's deeper than the news throwing crumbs of assumptions. What was the cause? Me always was together. I mean, what are you saying, Corey? This man has hurt and harm. Like what assumptions is there when there is a mom in the hospital with cuts to her face, throat and eyes plunged out and the baby's nose is bitten off and the baby is throw like what uh, what assumptions i don't care how many days you hanged out with him possibly sucked him off i don't know what the heck y'all had going on i don't care how much you hung out with him what assumption is there when there is a mom beaten a baby with a a nose that is no longer there brain damaged and likely not to respond like not li likely not to recover and a mother whose throat face and eyes are cut I don't get that. But anyways, there was another person who claimed to have known them. And this person commented and says, OMG, I know them. They stay exactly across the street from my dad's house. And then someone responded and they were like, happy family question mark. And then this person says, they appear to be. They've been together for years and they just were putting up Christmas decorations. And I saw them on Thanksgiving doing fine. Okay. And so, you know, somebody else had rep replied to that situation and they were like, basically, you know, actions speak louder than words. You know, what you see on the outside may may not be what's going on on the inside, pretty much. 
Um, but this whole situation, like I said, is very, very sad, very, very tragic, very, very gut wrenching just to know that. I mean, mental illness or not, like just to fathom such a thing happening is just crazy. Like it re- literally sounds like something that you hear in a horror movie, a horror film like, you know, like and to know that this is the reality is just crazy. But you guys let me know what you think about this situation. I'll see you guys in the comments. Um, If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. And make sure to check out my website, neekatnight.com. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Again, the mom is blind. The baby sustained traumatic brain injuries. She is currently in critical condition. Francois remains locked up and a Broward County judge ordered that he undergo a mental health evaluation.